Hi, welcome to the tutorial about GitHub. I've written an article on Eric Dubois six months ago, and in the meantime, I've changed my GitHub scripts and so on. So I'm gonna go into detail what changed and what you should do, what can you do if you want to use GitHub, okay? Let's first get into the details. So you download the GitHub uh, tutorial from uh, github.com, Eric Dubois, and so on. And then you get these three files. That's all you're gonna need to uh, really get a kickstart in using uh, GitHub. Okay, why? Because there is a file that's going to manage everything. Uh, once you have set everything up, you're gonna manage this one and you use this one every day you change anything you push it back to the net that's this this one is the one people are gonna read so it's just a text file but you can use it to embellish your github with youtube and images and layout formatting and all that great and this one you're gonna use only once you're gonna set it up your github and then it's done you never use it again so the main one is this one so let's go into details about that one first. All of this is just information, so it will not work. What will work is this here. Why is it in here? Because I use uh, this file, version one. I use this file also for all the other GitHubs. So about 65 and something like that. What does it do? It's going to check if a file exists in my folder named Linux. Why? Because we get uh, kernel updates from time to time and then we want to run it and we run our script and it downloads three files and these three files are I don't know 80 to 100 megabytes big and when you push them to the net you have a github that's going to explode in megabytes. So I had to add something because from time to time and it only happens once every three months but it happened and then you were I had to fix it again and said, you know what, I'm gonna build myself a little safety. So if there is a file called Linux inside, kernel 4.1.9.11, it is today 4.9.11. If that's inside, well, don't push it to the net. So exit zero. Safety. Second part is also safety. Working on different computers, working on different SSDs, you think you have the latest version from the net, but you don't. So this line is getting the newer versions from the net to the local PC. And then afterwards, you're gonna add the new stuff. This is the new stuff to the GitHub. And then you are gonna ask what kind of comment should I add it? So you can add, say, well, I've changed this or that icon. And then you push it back to the net. So this is the most important one. This as well, of course. So adding everything new and then pushing it to the net. So that's uh, the current version, version one. The safety, not to blow up the GitHub with megabytes and megabytes of Linux kernels. Pulling everything that's new that comes from the net that I don't have yet on the local drive. Adding everything that I changed locally read the comments and push it that's about it for the this one and then the other one is the setup kit is just once and what happens it's going to a, a big chunk here since i don't i only i don't uh, work just solely on uh, debian versions with this install git so apt get install i also work on arch versions so pacman so this is going to install git here and this is going to install the debian based guys uh, ubuntu linux mint this is going to be on tergos and arch linux and this is going to be solos so three kind of ways to install git just getting git to have everything here and these are the interesting stuff like who are you what's your mail i want to have nano as system core editor helping in the cache this is going to wait for I don't know 18,000 seconds or so to ask my password again and this is the push default symptom 
So that's it. I just run it once and then it's uh, in your system and then you don't have to touch it again. And the only thing you do if you change anything is right mouse click, open in terminal. I've changed this thing. So I press this one. It's going to get to check out if there are no kernel files. It's going to get everything from the net and then it's going to push everything. So that's what's going to happen. Checking for newer files online first, already up to date, and then write your comment testing and then we go on with typing the passwords and the username and the password so that's how it goes and that concludes the tutorial